Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take whichever napkins you've chosen to use and you're going to start cutting them into squares. Now, because these are so thin, you can actually cut a good amount up at a time. So you're gonna to wanna to cut them into small squares, about an inch. Okay, and so when you take a look at a napkin, you see that there's actually, because it's been folded, there are several layers to your napkin. So you wanna make sure you open it up. If you see a big rectangle like this, go ahead and cut it. So you'll just, you can kind of play with them. Some of them come apart really easily but you want the smallest pieces possible. Paper aside and you still have all these napkins that you can use later and then you're going to take a piece of white print you're going to take two pieces of white printer paper you're going to fold it in half and then you are going to start ripping up strips so you don't need to cut them you can just rip them the longer strips are better than the shorter strips so you want to just try to have some long, sort of like the length of a band-aid is good. And then you're going to put that aside as well. Okay, you're going to stretch your balloon and then you're going to blow it up. Okay, you want it to be not huge, so you can see it's like pretty much bigger than my hand, but around the size of my, my face, so no bigger than your face. And you're going to take your balloon and you're going to put it into your bowl, like so, and then we're going to tape that down. You really just need to tape it down in three spots. Oh, now you're going to take your foam brush and you're going to dip it into the Mod Podge. And you're going to do a little section at a time, just putting Mod Podge onto the balloon. Okay, once you've got Mod Podge on the balloon, you're going to start putting down tissue paper in small sections and make sure you're overlapping them. And then after you've done a few, you're then going to Mod Podge over it as well. And you're just going to keep on doing that. So once you've completed an entire layer of napkins and you want to do about half the bowl, 
You're then going to do an entire layer of just the white paper. So this is going to give it some strength. So you wanna make sure that they are covering every single part of the napkin layer and it's going to give it a layer of strength. So you're just gonna do one piece of paper at a time, push it down, and then put some Mod Podge over it as well. So you're just gonna keep doing this. You could you could go in the sit you can go in opposite directions and overlap and that will make your bolt even stronger. Very much like paper mache. So just start overlapping and Mod Podging on top until the entire design is completely covered with white paper. So once you finish your entire layer of white, you're now going to go ahead and do another napkin layer, but this time you want to make sure that the colorful side is facing up. So you're going to try to cover the entire bowl with little scrap pieces of napkin overlapping until you've covered all or most of it. Okay, so it's been 24 hours since I made my bowl, and you can see that the areas that I have Mod Podge are now solid as a rock. And so we can go ahead and pop the balloon. So first you're going to see if you could peel away. Oops, sometimes it will just pop on its own. Uh, but if it didn't do that, you could use some scissors. And you're just going to gently, very gently, try to take it off the bowl. And then try to peel off whatever is left of the balloon. Now, if you can't get peel it off too easily, you can also just trim it with a pair of scissors. Um, but I was able just to tear it apart. So some people like the look of the bowl being sort of raw on the edges. But if you don't like that look, you can always go ahead and just trim to make it smoother. And you'll see also that like the inside, the inside of my bowl is still a little bit wet. So the Mod Podge had dried on the outside, but the inside might take a few more days. So just trimming all the way around. 
and if you like the way it looks then you can be done if you have some areas in here that you want to patch you can actually go ahead and add some more papers and and mod podge some more little pieces you know like if you wanted to do the edge and patch the edge like this you can do that um, or if you're happy with the way it looks you can just be done so that's completely entirely up to you um, you're the artist and other than that now you can enjoy your beautiful bowl you can put candy in here um, trinkets I wouldn't put any food items in here although it is it is non-toxic and don't put this in the wash this is really a decorative piece of art <laughs>